I have a little haul to show you guys. So she's a girl. Stop being scared. Awesome, thank you. Hey you guys, it is my birthday today. Um, we're just about to go to get, um, they're taking me out to get our nails done and then we're gonna do something else after, not really sure. This is like the little fit. It's pouring rain, I really hope the sun comes out because the sun has always shined on my birthday. So if it doesn't shine this year, I'm gonna be a little bit sad about it. But Madison and Brittany are over. We're just gonna be leaving now. Brought over some cute flowers and a balloon, some drinks, and brownies. Oh, Sienna, Joel's um, older sister, also oh, stopped by this morning. She got me a Starbucks gift card, a candle, and also like a wallflower It's in the bathroom. I'll show you guys later. But so sweet of her. We're gonna head out now, and I will update you guys. I'm gonna bring you guys along for today. Okay, so we just got our, um, we all got pedicures and I just got my nails removed because I just needed to get them removed and then they just did a coat of polish because I don't want to have to maintain it anymore. I want to have like a break for a few months at least. So I have like naked nails. Actually, they're not naked, they're painted so they don't look that bad. But she did a really good job of taking them off. Last time I got my nails taken off, they absolutely hurt me. They cut me. It was horrible. It was not this place. It was like at a different place. It was the most horrible experience ever. She did such an amazing job. Like she didn't hurt me. It was seamless. But yeah. So anyways, now um, we're going to do something exciting and fun. Brittany's going to go get a kitten right now. Morning. Yeah. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> Do you get all the stuff for it? So stuff. we're going to go get it. We're gonna go, we're gonna <gasps> have to go now. Okay. It's not a bubble tea place. I was, I was like, lying. What, what bubble tea place do you go to? But that's why, it, yeah, we were, I was like, should we tell her now? Because originally we were just going to pull up. But I'm like, we should probably plan this because you're like hungry, right? So yeah. let's figure out how we want to do this. <laughs> What do you FaceTime me this morning? She's like, I'm gonna get oh, the cat yeah. today. So then I was like, oh, let's surprise Madison with it because me and Madison have been wanting to go with her to get a, a kitten. So. Ah! <laughs> it has blue eyes. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like, why don't we just surprise Madison? Because um, Brittany just took me out um, to get my nails done. And so we're like, why don't we just surprise Madison when we're like um, going there because she's gonna be so excited. Yeah, so Brittany's getting a cat instead of a dog because a dog is too much of a commitment. They were kind of going back and forth with the cat and a dog. We but really, dog is so much less work. Yeah, we, and it doesn't tie you down. Down. Really down. Having a cat doesn't tie you down, yeah. really. Because it's so easy to take care of. And like, I can take care of it whenever. <laughs> when Brittany called me and told me she was getting the cat, I'm like, that's probably the best thing we can do today for my birthday. Like, I wouldn't want to do anything else. Like, this is perfect because we weren't even sure what we were gonna do besides getting the nails done. So I was like, okay, why don't we go get, like, like she's like, why, why I, don't I go get the cat? And I was like, that's the perfect thing to do on my birthday. So yeah, so now we're gonna go get Starbucks on the way. And Madison's hungry, so we might pick something up to eat. Not really sure what we're gonna do yet, but we're definitely gonna like I order definitely tonight. definitely need food. to go to a pet store. I just got a brown sugar and a shaken espresso. What'd you get? I have another frappuccino probably since like grade six, so I got a frappuccino and it's caramel frappuccino with oat milk. That looks so good. It's good. And then we got, Hold on, we got cheese danish. With this cheese danish warmed up is so freaking good. And then we got some egg white bites. Can I say something about this? So I know people are probably like, hey, why would you get the egg white egg bites? Honestly, they are really good. High in protein, low calories. Recommended. Mmm, they look so good. And this looks so good. That's for sriracha, they have packages. You guys, we just got I'm literally like, I can't handle the cuteness of this right now. <laughs> like, I actually can't handle it. Look, she has such big mitten paws. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. They're called mittens. Mittens. You got little mittens, yeah. baby. No, like, I'm obsessed. Oh my god. Did you god. get litter? Yeah. Because yeah. she might need to pee. Oh my goodness. I actually can't. 
I just wanted to give a big thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. I have a little haul to show you guys. I'm literally so excited. I kind of ordered spring clothing slash summer clothing because winter is almost over, so there's literally no point. So if you guys want to shop Princess Polly, you guys can use my discount, which is just Kayla in all caps, and you can get 20% off their entire website. Also, they ship from within the US, and all Canadian orders um, can get free shipping over $50 US. Also, this is the best part here, is that when you order from them, all duties um, and taxes are calculated at checkout. So when the package comes, you don't have to worry about paying any extra duties or taxes or whatever. There's not going to be any surprises at your door, which is so freaking nice. Also, Princess Polly offers Afterpay, which is basically a system that you don't have to pay for your um, all your order at once you can do it within like little monthly payments if you're not sure about something or something doesn't fit you They also offer really easy um, Returns within 30 days. So this is the first piece that I got you guys I have been wanting a romper like thing for so freaking long since last summer This is the best and easiest cute outfit that you can make and just throw on when you want to look super cute But you also want to look put together. I'm actually in love with this and it's so comfortable It's so freaking cute. Like imagine this with like sleek back hair and gold jewelry in the summer Stop like I'm so excited and then I also got this really cute ass white shoulder bag because I've been wearing my same black one that I thrifted for so long So I was like, you know what? It's time to switch it up for the summer Let's get a really nice cute white one that will also match with everything So I just got this and it's a really good size like it can really fit a lot and I also got these really cute sunglasses I have been honestly obsessed with wearing sunglasses like this, but I only have like a couple pairs so i was like i gotta get another cute ass pair and i love the prints how they're tur turtoise turtle turtle i don't know <laughs> whatever that this print is called so freaking cute and this will like literally match with anything like even if you wear it with something black it kind of like spices it up a little bit glasses like this i'm like that's the only thing i'm going to be wearing this summer mark needs to my words on my face like this is just a fire fit you guys i'm obsessed and i'm gonna show you guys what else i got because I can literally keep this on forever. Okay, here are the next two things that I got. This little bra tank top thingy majing. It's not actually a bra, but it's like a kind of like a I just like to call these little tank tops like bra tank tops because they are so comfortable and they're kind of like the size of like a sports bra or something. But the back is all covered as you can see, and I'm obsessed. Um, this is probably gonna be my go-to summer top because I'm obsessed with tops like this in the summer. You can just throw them on literally with whatever you want and it'll match. I'm obsessed with this and it's super comfortable and really soft and these are the pants that i got i don't even think you guys understand how excited i am about these pants the color the literal feel how comfy they are i'm obsessed with everything when i first saw these pants online i didn't know that they were going to be this comfortable but holy shit like i can literally wear these just like sweatpants and have them on all day because I honestly choose comfort over fashion every, any day. But these give me both. And these are so cute. Like imagine these like in the summer. Like just wearing this shirt. And you, I can literally go out like this because the weather's going to be hot. Like for a summer evening. Oh my goodness gracious. Like I am so excited. Okay so here's the next top that I got. How freaking cute is this? It's like a little corset top. And it just zips up in the back here. So it's easy to put on. I've been wanting a little corset top like this for so long. The pattern is just so freaking cute. It has like little flowers on it. It's like a cream color um, with like blue um, and green flowers. I'm obsessed. It even actually really goes with this, um, these jeans. This is like perfect for the summer to throw on on a night out or something with a little shoulder bag. Like the white shoulder bag that I just showed you guys would look so cute with this. Wow. So freaking adorable. Here is the next top that I got. I'm actually obsessed with this i've seen ever since i ordered this top and i received it i've seen so many girls wearing this it's just such a popular shirt right now i love how it's like a long sleeve but it's pretty much like a crop bra top you know what i mean because you don't really see that often usually when you have like a crop top this short it's not long sleeve and that's what i love about it because sometimes i want my arms covered but i still want to be wearing like an open like crop top anyways here's the back it just kind of dips down like that and i'm literally obsessed with this shirt this is gonna be like perfect to wear with any jeans or any pants it will go with anything here is the next thing that i got ah! look i'm obsessed with this dress oh my goodness gracious i don't even know how to describe my obsession with this but when i saw it on the website i was like yes give it to me please how freaking cute is this what even like this is just the cutest daintiest summer dress i've ever seen 
Um, there's little pads built in here so you don't have to worry about like wearing a bra. So comfortable. This would be so perfect for like a little summer cute evening. Night out with little sandals, wearing a cute little shoulder bag. Oh my goodness, you don't even know how excited I am to wear this. Things like this I just love so much because you don't have to put an outfit together. You literally just throw a cute ass dress on and you're good to go. So freaking cute. So here is the next dress that I got. I am in love with this one as well. It gives me like very similar vibes to the last one that I just tried on. It's so freaking cute and literally so perfect for the summer. The color on it, I'm obsessed. Like the light pink with the orange. I think this is the cutest, most perfect summer dress ever. Like this dress and the last dress, I'm gonna be wearing nonstop in the summer. And yeah, I'm sorry I keep saying cute a thousand times in this haul, but I don't know what other words to describe. Like this stuff with like i honestly don't know so <laughs> give me some synonyms in the comments okay <laughs> okay so here's the last thing that i got this comes in a set this is just beautiful you can wear this little cardigan off the shoulder you can literally wear it like this or you can kind of give your shoulders a little bit more coverage and go like this and if you wanted to it also buttons up so you can kind of wear it like that which is also super cute and i love how it's short sleeved um it's kind of a velvety material as you can see which i absolutely love it's so soft and it's the cutest thing ever. You can obviously also wear the dress alone too, but the set is just giving right now. Such an easy outfit to wear for like a summer dinner, summer evening, throwing on some sandals. I'm actually obsessed. This is so yeah, this was the end of the Princess Polly haul. My coupon code will be down below again, which is just Michaela, and all these items will be down below as well as I will add my sizes in case you are similar height and body shape to me, um, just for reference. Hello, you guys. I'm currently on the way to my sister Brittany's house. I have like on my laptop my camera stuff because i'm just gonna go work at her house because as you guys know she got a little kitten and i can't stay far away from that thing like i need to go see it right now her house is about like a half an hour drive from mine so it's like not horrible but it is pretty far but it's like whatever Brittany's actually a teacher so she has like spring break off so that's why like i can go and work at her house because she's home and just cuddle with the kitty and she's like oh my god i can't get anything done because like she's so cute and i'm like i know like oh, don't worry i'll distract her from you for a bit because she's just so adorable so i'm gonna go over there and work at her house and also joel is at work today like he had to go in so i'm home alone anyway so i was like you know what i gotta go take advantage of the kitty and plus i never get to see Brittany on weekdays anymore because she always works on weekdays so since she's on spring break i'm like i'll just come over because we don't get to do this often so yeah i'm literally so excited oh also i saw this thing on tiktok and I'm pretty sure, like I didn't save the video, but from my memory, I think that the girl said that if you put avocados in water in the fridge, it preserves them. So please let me know in the comments if this actually works because I have no idea. I'm just trying this because I bought like a whole bag of avocados and they're all getting ripe at the same time. And I really have no use for them right now, like to use them all at once. So apparently this works. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried it, but I'm trying it and I'll update you guys to see how th this works, trying out the little TikTok hack. And yeah, I guess we'll see pretty soon if they get rotten quick, but yeah, interesting. Okay, I'm currently in the Starbucks drive-thru because I got two Starbucks gift cards for my birthday. And so that makes me so excited because I like vouched, vowed to myself. I was like, you know what? I don't have to be spending money on Starbucks, especially now that I'm like moved out. Like I don't need it right now. I'm just gonna like try to cut back as much as possible because you know, Starbucks is like literally $7 a drink. But yeah, everybody knows I do love my Starbucks. So we're at Starbucks right now because I did get two gift cards. So we got money here. I'm so excited. I literally haven't had a Starbucks. What am I even saying? I literally had one yesterday on my birthday. But I mean, before that, I haven't had one in like, I would say like a month and a half maybe. Like it's been a while. Don't really know what I want to get yet. I might just get the brown sugar. Oh, shaking espresso like I did yesterday and just do the same thing, but I'm not sure. I think I'm also going to get the egg white bites because those are really good. Also, I have like a whole bunch of carb cardboard back here that I need to throw out. So don't mind that. My literal car looks like a dumpster right now. Oh, here we go. It's my turn. I love Starbucks is that have a drive through because just so you know, get out of your car. Hi, can I please get the brown sugar oat shaken espresso um, iced, please, and just a grande? And can I please get the egg white bites? And that's all. Thank you. You guys, I want to get a cat so bad, like so bad you don't even know because Hershey, my cat at home, she, I think I already explained this, but like she's staying at my house, so like I'm not, I'm, can't, I'm not gonna bring her. 
but like I want a cat so bad but the thing is is that when we signed our lease the land we told the landlord that we weren't gonna get any pets and he also really prefers not to it's not like you can't have them in the building but he just like prefers it so for this year we definitely can't get any animals because we already like committed to that and everything but once I can I am but also I was thinking and I was like maybe I should wait like maybe I should really hold off for like another like maybe five years until I'm settled down because we like I don't know me and Joel want to go traveling like it's like right now in this moment do I want a kitten yes like I literally love cats so much and they're like not much work at all but then at the same time it's like I don't know like I'm literally 22 years old now so it's like I'm probably gonna go traveling soon. I don't want anything to hold me back. It's all that to think about too. So I think I'm just gonna wait until I'm a little bit older to get one, even though like I really want one right now. Because like when you have your own place, it's like, it doesn't feel empty without a little animal, but like since I'm so used to having Hershey and Zeus at home, it does feel a little empty in that aspect because I'm always used to having like animals around me. Like literally when I was pulling out turkey bacon in the fridge, I would look down at my place because Usually when I do that at home like Hershey and Zeus are right there asking for food and so it's like Oh my god, like there's no animals here. It's like a weird, a weird adjustment in that aspect that so like makes me want to get an animal again But I know I can't I know that I can't and I will in the future when I'm more settled down and I know what like my future is gonna hold Hi. How are you? Good. Thank you. How are you? Good. Awesome. Thank you so a bit of an update i just finished editing my video and i'm just uploading it right now and then i need to this video is not going to be going up for like till next week so because it needs to get approved by brand and everything so yeah i just needed to get it sent over so i needed to finish it asap but uh, yeah i've just been editing okay i know she looks tiny on the camera right now but when you see her in person she's even tinier like she's not even a pound i swear you can pick her up like a feather and just like throw she's her. She's the size of this. She's smaller than that. Like, she's bottle. yeah. She's literally smaller than like that water bottle. Like not even kidding you. She's tiny. I forgot how tiny she was, and then when I came over again today, I was like, holy shit! Like she's so small. But anyways, we're getting hungry. I think we're gonna make something to eat right now. Oh god, it's already 4:15. Yeah, she's gonna be hyper soon <laughs> because she was just sleeping for like an hour, and now she's gonna be full of energy. <laughs> Hi guys, so we are downtown. We came here because Joel needed to get his bike fixed and the bike shop is down here. So Joel just brought his bike in and it's not gonna be ready today. It's probably gonna be ready like tomorrow or whenever, but um, yeah, so we just parked on the side of the street and the parking is for 30 minutes. So we're just gonna walk over right now to Glory Juice because Joel's startup company that he works on, one of their products actually got like put into Glory Juice, which is like this really, you know, well-known um, smoothie juice company around the area. So I haven't tried the smoothie yet that they made with their product. So we're on the way, we're just walking there because we have a bit of time. Um, to get a smoothie and I'm so excited to try it. So yeah, that's what's up. And it's finally sunny. There is like a really big breeze which is making it cold. But at least it's sunny. You guys, these are the products that Joel's startup company does. So exciting to see them literally in a freaking really well-known store. So proud. I got the not coffee smoothie. It is so freaking good. If you guys live in the area or somewhere near Vancouver, go to Glory Juice Co. and get their not coffee chocolate smoothie. And send me an Instagram DM. Cause that that would be so cool. So let me know. Okay guys, so we just got back home and I me and Joel are just about to go to Brittany's house again because we were gonna have like my little birthday celebration party thing. We were gonna have it here, but then Brittany also has a new kitten. So Brittany was like, oh, if I come, I only can stay for a couple hours. 
and also we don't even have like a couch here so i was like you know what can we just do it at your place because it would just be so much better since especially because we don't have a couch and just because like she has a new kitten and i don't want her only staying like two hours so anyways i just wanted to come on here quickly and just like i was just taking i was just thinking and i was like life is crazy and life is too short and what I mean by that is like life is literally too short for you guys to focus and give attention to anybody else's opinions of you If you're too scared to do something because of what someone else thinks stop being scared Stop thinking about what other people are gonna think stop thinking about what other people are gonna judge you about because once you don't care and you really truly do what you want to do regardless of other people's opinions and judgments that's when you're going to live your most fulfilled and happy life and trust me i used to literally live my life only caring about what other people thought of me making decisions based on other people's opinions and if you guys watched the podcast episode with jada you guys heard me say this but i just wanted to say this on here again if you guys didn't watch that that like it's so important not to care about literally anybody else's opinions and what they think about you because at the end of the day it's so irrelevant life is too short to live your life based on that at the end of the day you're going to regret it you're going to regret if you live your life for other people and basically by living your life like that you're not living your life for you you're living your life for other people because you're making decisions based on other people's opinions and not your own but you have to realize that you're the only person in your body you're the only person who knows what's best for you and nobody else can make that judgment so if you want to do something whatever it is in your life even a small thing a big thing whatever it is do it because you want to do it even if other people are judging you for it don't want you to do it think it's a bad idea think it's a mistake you just have to honestly block them out and not give a shit there's going to be people that judge you no matter what like no matter what there's always going to be somebody out there that's going to judge you that's not going to like what you're doing there's always it's inevitable there's always going to be someone like that that's why it's so important that like it's like who cares if i'm going to get judged anyways by somebody it doesn't really matter like you have to live for yourself. When people judge you for doing something that makes you happy, it's on them and it's because of something that they have going on, maybe some insecurity, maybe they're jealous of you, and that is all on them. That has nothing to do with you. Obviously, they're not happy enough in their life that they're jealous and judging you for doing your own thing and doing what makes you happy. If I didn't do this, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Where I'm at today. If I followed other people's opinions, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. If I follow if I let other people rule my life through them judging me, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Um, and if I never broke that barrier of caring about what other people think of me, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Yeah, I just wanted to remind you guys and tell you that it really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, we're all gonna be dead. And all that matters is that you lived your life true to yourself and you did what you wanted to do with no regrets. So yeah, I just, I just want to preach that for the rest of my life because that is what I live by. So when I said it's bright out still because daylight saving time, the sunset's at 7-ish now, which is so nice. But yeah, I will update you guys tonight. We are on the way to Brittany's house now. I got a birthday sash on. It even lights up. Oh, there we go. We're keeping this baby on. It's just going to be something small because to be honest, like I don't even have that many friends to go out with. So, and I don't know. I don't really care about like making my birthday a huge like celebration in terms of like going out and partying like i don't really care that much i just honestly care about having the people i love around me i know that sounds really cheesy but it's true like i just want everybody that i love around me to celebrate my birthday with and that's all that i really care about at the end of the day that's what's gonna make me happy so yeah it's just gonna be a little celebration tonight No 